If you're upgrading your car audio system and adding an amplifier, you're going to need to know what all of these dials and switches are for. So it's time for Car Audio Amplifier Basics Settings Edition. Let's go. First off, the gain control or input sensitivity or level. This is not a volume knob. If this is set incorrectly, you can send a clipped signal to your speakers or subwoofers, which can result in damage. What this does do is matches the amp's input level with the source unit's output level. So be sure to refer to the manual and set that correctly. Next, the turn on mode. The reason for the turn on mode selection is in some vehicles, you may not have the ability to connect a remote wire Wire that will tell the amplifier when to turn on and off. So when you can't use that remote wire, instead what you can do is you can tell the amplifier to monitor the incoming electrical circuit here for the inputs, and when it sees a musical signal, then turn on. This setting varies from manufacturer to manufacturer, so be sure to check the manual. Now what about crossovers? On some amplifiers, this is locked to a certain value that you enable or disable with a switch, and on some amplifiers you have a dial like this for adjusting in a certain range. The point of the crossover is it limits certain frequencies from coming out of our amplifier. As an example, this is a subwoofer amplifier. We don't want to send high frequency information to it. We want to send low frequencies. So in this case right here with it set at 80 hertz, that means that the base frequencies below 80 hertz are going to be allowed to go past because this is a low pass filter. Anything above 80 hertz, on the other hand, would not be allowed to go past to the subwoofer. Depending on the complexity of the amplifier, you may also see the ability to do a high pass filter or even a band pass filter. Another common setting to see is a phase control, or this might also be called polarity if it's just a switch between zero and 180 degrees. And this allows us to affect the relationship between different drivers in our vehicle. Most commonly, if it's on a subwoofer amplifier, it's going to allow us to affect the relationship between the mid bass drivers and the sub. Speaking of subs, finally on a subwoofer amplifier, it's common to see a bass boost setting. This is basically a simple equalizer that allows you to boost some of the bass information at a certain frequency. You want to refer again to your instruction manual. In the case of this amplifier here, it's centered at 45 hertz. What about all the different amplifier connections though? There's obviously a lot more to talk about here. So if you want to learn more, check out my full amplifier crash course video over on my YouTube channel, Car Audio Fabrication.